I've been researching these objects, um, which came from the Cooper Frost Austin House, right here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, the Peabody Museum did an excavation there in the 1970s and turned up a lot of 19th century glass bottles. So I've been focusing on researching these, and these are two of the most interesting things, or compelling objects that I found. Um, so looking through, this is a dentrophies bottle. Um, it says Patton and Co's dentrophies. And then I was able to reconstruct this label um, and match it to a label in the Boston Medical and Surgical Journal um, from 1865. So that was an advertisement in that journal. And it was used as an early toothpaste to sort of brighten the smile and clean the mouth. Um, then there were also these toothbrushes. And on this toothbrush, you can see etched into it Prout 229 Strand, which I was able to match to a patent medicine vendor in England named Thomas Prout, who um, operated his business at 229 Strand from 1816 to 1859. Um, so we're, I'm still researching who would have used these objects. We know that Susan Austin lived in the house at this time. Um, her husband lived there with her briefly before these objects date. So I'm looking at how this new attention to presentation can um, give us more insight into these people and who they were and what was important to them. Um, so what I've loved is sort of the, t the detective work I've been able to do. So I've been able doing things like reconstructing this label and mashing this etching to different people that would have sold these things um, has been really interesting and fun for me.